Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining. Welcome to Starboard Consulting's 10 minute Maximo Tech Tips. Uh, today, we're going to be sharing a new application in Maximo in their scheduler suite. So our November series has included several presentations on um, 10 minute Maximo tips, including the um, uh, Maximo for utilities. I'm back on the third Maximo spatial. Today we'll be talking about scheduler and next week we're talking about uh, Maximo health and safety and environmental um, app, uh, industry solution, which uh, um, would be very, will be very interesting. If you have missed those, uh, the replays for those sessions are available on our website. So today, I'd like to introduce you to a new application in the Maximo Scheduler Suite. It's called Graphical Work Week, GWW. So it's brand new with the Scheduler 7.6.8 release. Um, it is the coolest application I've seen in quite a while and has put pulled together so many of the features of the scheduling uh, functionality into one application. You can schedule and assign in one place. The important thing here too is once you schedule and assign, uh, your uh, schedule is synced with your assignment. And we'll look at that here in a minute when we look at the, at the, uh, at the application. The schedule is based on resources load and availability. Um, it's you're looking at everything in one screen. You're able to visualize what, who's available, how much availability you have, and where the work needs to go. The ease of use in Graphical Work Week includes your a double click to assign work and double clicking to a, to a modify availability of labor or crew. So let's just jump right in here uh, to Graphical uh, Work Week. I'm going to share my screen. Uh, where I've got a live session um, open of Maximo. So in this screen, um, this is the start center of my demo system. Um, excuse me looking to the left here, but I'm going to co go over here. The new application is in the planning and scheduling module, along with all the other scheduler applications. And it's just called Graphical Work Week. So I'm going to go ahead and open that, open that uh, application up. Very familiar uh, opening screen, just like the other schedulers. You've got a work list that you can create, and um, it, it the, it's constructed very similar to what uh, uh you know your scheduler stuff uh, you know includes things like the calendar and the shift. Um, also, your uh, what duration? Notice in this in this one, we really want to focus on the next seven days or a seven day period. And we can set our start dates uh, for that seven day period and only the work that um, involves those dates will show up in your screen so you can really focus. Your work queries are built very similar to the scheduler, um, other scheduler applications, same with your resources. So once you've got your work list uh, created and set up, then we, we definitely want to go into the graphical view. So the um, the idea here is that um, we have one page that is showing our work uh, and the work actually shown on a Gantt chart across the week. And we have our resources who can do the work or who are assigned to the work down here in this lower pane and their blocks of availability. And I'm just going to like scrunch up just a bit so we can see better. So some of the new things that you're going to see in this application are some new icons. Notice that this icon here of a wrench next to this indicates that that's a work order. There's a different um, icon if it was a task, as a, like a piece of paper. So uh, IBM has, has improved sort of the visuals of what you can see at a glance here. Um, the familiar uh, Toolbar icons are pretty much the same. We're gonna we're gonna use those here in just a minute, and um, we have a new uh, color coding down here in our availability. 
So you can see different colors. Green means this is how much you know is still available in that um, that person's uh, workday across the week. And the idea of graphical work week is more along not so much like what time they're going to start, what time they're going to end. It's not hourly uh, necessarily across the Gantt. It's more like let's just look at this week and see how much work we have and how much availability we have, and then let's make all that work together. So having said that, these colors. So uh, Blue is indicative that uh, this is a craft row. So the of all the carpenters, this is how much time we have um, for all the carpenters across the week. And then now we have the one carpenter here uh, as a labor. Then you can see that person's individual availability, or I'm sorry, how much they have uh, left in their in their day. So we can also collapse this collapse this view and just look at the crafts and just see all of the availability across the week for just that that craft but expanding the rows then gives us the individual um, the individual information on availability you'll notice some new flags here in the corners of some of these so when there's a purple flag here or what I call pink here in this view it means that there are multiple uh, entries in their modified availability. So that particular labor has got several uh, variances in their normal work schedule, and you can look at those. The light blue here is showing that that's a, there's some sick time that's posted to that particular person for on that particular day. And then all purple in a um, in a day means that's just a, that's vacation time. So color coding the leave in the modified availability is very handy. And the, how you know what these mean is they've installed this reason code dropdown. So the reason code dropdown is color coded by the kind of of time or modification that is um, that is um, happening there on the screen. So let's just quickly uh, show you kind of how this works. The double clicking for modified availability. Uh, I need to pick a reason code. So if I pick a reason code of sick, um, let's say uh, Jimbo Hunterson calls in sick. I need to come to this day on Monday the 14th. He calls in sick. I've picked their sick code. I double click Jim. And now Jim is showing a negative two hours and 30 minutes that of work that he needs to, we need to give to someone else because he's not going to be here. We either need to give to someone else or we need to reschedule it. So let's go up here. I can check, I can select Jim down here. And then I can filter the work for just his work up here. So as soon as I have this filter on and select him, I've got Jim up here in the um, the work that's assigned to him. And I can sort by the dates and see uh, what what he has going on today, which is the day he called in sick. Very quickly, I can select that work and I can do a couple things. I can double click someone down here who has time today in Monday that will qualify. Um, and assign that work to them. So here I'm going to give a, a different person this work and I'm going to say OK. So the double clicking on assigning um, is very and now now this now the other individual is down to zero and we show Jimbo sick. So um, that is just and the, the same thing happens for double clicking any assignment. So anything that's waiting to be assigned. Um, Anything that's waiting to be assigned is a is a quick uh, select it, waiting to assign. This is an overhead line crew. I can go to my overhead line crew and find and, and it's highlighted the folks who are available for me to assign. Double click that person. Double click that crew, and that crew is now assigned to that work. So the double clicking of availability and uh, scheduling an assignment is. One of the great features in Maximo Graphical Work Week. Alex, how much time do we have? Um, we have just a couple of minutes left. You're doing great, Lonnie. Okay. So, having said all that, um, I would just in, I would just encourage you to look for the scheduler preview site on IBM's um, uh, normal preview uh, menus of opportunities and take this and use it uh, try try these things that we talked about I think it's going to be a great feature for the going forward on the uh, the scheduler journey thanks Lonnie it was a fantastic presentation 
Graphical work week is awesome indeed. <laughs> and having said that, um, if you'll go to the next slide, Alex, I would like to thank everyone for being here uh, today. And uh, I would just want you to know a little bit about Starboard. Uh, we have we are the um, we are a Maximo implementer, and um, we would we would like to you know to for you to uh, understand that we have tons of experience uh, and, and integrity in the Maximo space, and invite you to contact us anytime for um, anything that we might be able to do for you in your Maximo um, your Maximo world. Thank you so much for joining Maximo Tech Tips with Starboard Consulting.